I am in love with this fully cooked uncured bacon. This has a little apple smoke to it for our recipe today. I'm gonna to put about a third of a cup of olive oil, and that was seasoned olive oil, and about four strips of that amazing apple smoked bacon for our recipe. We put some scallions in there, a teaspoon of oregano dried, and I'm gonna use sweet basil, that's a teaspoon, and a teaspoon of garlic, I'm gonna add that. And I love my little bowl I'm using. I'm gonna mix that all in there. Let the apple, bacon, kinda of mix with the spices. And we are gonna make the most yummiest ravioli bake you've ever had. So I have two of these, you can get them in the store, they're double packed, but tonight is just a dinner for me and my husband. So I'm gonna use this wonderful pre-made stuff, ravioli, and let's just put some at the bottom. And this has got ricotta, spinach, all ready to go. I have a butter dish. Since it's just us two tonight, I thought this would be kind of a fun little spin on this. I'm gonna take my olive oil mixture with the bacon. I'm just gonna spread that over there on the top and just smoosh it around. And then I'm going to use a little bit different spin on this as well. This is a vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto from Traders. And I'm hooked on this. And as you, if you watch occasionally that I love adding vegan to our lifestyle. And it is so good. I'm gonna mix that around, just kind of put that on top of the pesto. So next I have my cheese that's already shaved. It's got your Parmesan, it's got your Romano, Asiago cheese in there. It's so good and it comes in chunks like that. And I'm going to move that little spoon there. And I'm just gonna put this and we're gonna layer it. And this is such an easy way to go. I'm trying to reincorporate maybe a package of raviolis that you have, which I did. Had another bag left over. And I'm just gonna, again, do another layer. I'm just gonna keep layering. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Just perfect for two. For our little date night dinner tonight. Okay, then we're gonna layer again. I'm gonna take this, our pesto. We're just gonna keep layering, layering, keep going over. And just keep getting all the corners if you can. And just go like this. This is gonna be so delicious. Keep doing that. And then I've got my bacon olive oil mixture. And that goes all over the top. Keep mixing in. And I love that bacon. It's already cooked. It's going to cook more, but it's so easy to work with. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you're like me, I do always worry about bacon <laughs> or any meat that isn't cooked all the way through. So that is an easy, easy way to do it. Okay, we're going to keep going. Just keep adding our layers of goodness here. I love cheese. Down on the top. We're going to go again with our pesto. This is about at the end here. Just keep going. Clean all that out. This is really good. If you haven't tried this brand of pesto, it is very good. Trader Joe's, I love it. And it's got all that, the good nuts in there. It's got the flavor you're looking for. And we've still got our cheese. So that isn't eliminated totally. And here we go. One more. Keep adding. And I just do have some more of our, look at that. We're going to go like that and just get the top. It comes together pretty quickly and it smells wonderful. It smells fantastic. It does. And we're just going to do that because this is the end of our, our little bake here. Our ravioli bake. 
so good. Very easy. Look how easy this came together. Well, you can add a little bit more olive oil if you wanted to, but I, that's what I have for now, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, and the last of our cheese goes right on top. Oh my goodness, it smells delicious. And I'm gonna stick that on 350 for about 30 minutes and we're gonna check it at 30 minutes. Just pulled our ravioli bake out of the oven. I'm gonna add a little lemon, got fresh lemon. And then I have this delicious rosemary garlic. It's a little great, I love this. I use this on top of everything. It just adds a little something to it, gives it a little kick on top of that lemon. Oh, look at that. And now I'm gonna cut into that. We're gonna take a bite. Our pesto, get at the bottom. Ooh, look at that. This is gonna be so delicious. Let's take a bite of our ravioli bake. It is so good, so creamy and delicious. You've got to try this. Enjoy.